All right, how everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. So today, this is gonna be a different type of video. I just wanna show y'all my Ultimat 12 HD setup, how I'm gonna bring it into Unreal Engine and be able to basically output uh, utilizing an SDI setup that I'm doing because I was looking for a lot of um, things on black magic forums uh, basically just trying to see the correct setup so I can be able to send things out so I figure out you know what I mean I just make a video on it and this is just one way it's multiple ways but you're gonna see this way right here so I'm gonna try to talk about this fairly fast and simple hopefully it helps all right so first off let's start off with my black magic I got the black magic 6k pro you can see I am running an HDMI out so that HDMI out here is running into my basically Blackmagic micro converter. So I have that here running in here. This is coming from straight from the camera. Then I have the SDI out. That SDI out is running into my Ultimat 12. I have it running right here. I got the back of the box so I can show y'all. I'm basically sending that through the camera foreground. So that's where this um, one is going through there. Then from there, we have to make sure that we have a couple of things set up. Now, the way I have this set up, it's basically so you can be able to do both ways as far as bringing things in from Unreal Engine. You can use the composure route or you can do the, the media capture. So with this one, I'm showing you all the media capture, but I have it set up so you can be able to do them both. So now that I have that there, you can see here I have my Atomos Sumo 19. This is going to be my, basically my program out. So when I wanna show clients or I wanna be able to show the final result and I can be able to click through. So that right there is this cable right here. I have that with the SDI and it's going to the program out. If we go in, actually monitor out, excuse me. So on the box, monitor out. So I can be able to see it. So that's what that one is. Excuse me about that. It's not the program out, it's the monitor out. So I have that there. Then I have two of these signals that's going to my computer. Now on my computer, I am running the Blackmagic um, DeckLink 8K Pro. Now it's gonna be a little rough to try to see back here. We're gonna see what I can make happen, but I'm gonna definitely see if I can show y'all a little setup. So I do have, right down here this is the deck link ak pro on top i have the the um the duo but i'm not even using the duo for this setup this is just that and you can see we have our inputs already in there and i'm going to explain those now so first when you're trying to do your setup you have your things going to your ultimate now i have this right here this first signal right here is, go back over here, our PGM field. I have that running through here and it's going through my SDI or my DeckLink AK Pro and that one's running through the basically the one. And I wanna show y'all what I mean by one. So on here, you can see the setup this is how the SDI on a DeckLink AK Pro looks. And here, the way you're gonna have it plugged in, you're gonna see it um, a certain way. So you have your reference one, the way these are, they're a little bit interesting. So then here, you're going to have, this is your SDI um, in or out one. Then you're gonna have three, you're gonna have two, and you're gonna have four. So you have one, three, two, four. So you want to set it up like that. So as I was mentioning, I have my PGM field going through to my SDI one. That's this blue cord right here going through the one on a deck link. Then I'm going to have my next one, which is PGM mat. PGM mat. That's here. Now for this one, I have this going through my Decklink AK and it's going to the, the Decklink AK second output, which if you remember how I showed you, you have one, three, two, and four. So 
it, number two would be right here. And that's what I have my PGM mat connected to. So now that we have those, we have, this is our monitor out going to my Atomos. Then we have here, this is the background. Now in the background, if you see right here, background. So that's our background cable. I have that going through to the Ford DeckLink 8K. So remember we mentioned here, we got one, three, two, and four. So I have that going to the four. That four is going to be my Unreal Engine. Basically my scene that I, I set up in there. So that's all I have on here. You already know you make sure that you plug it in. You have the ethernet connect connected. Then you can be able to look into the Ultimate software control. This right now, and I have everything going through, and it's just on auto green, auto key. So you already have a great looking auto key. If you see it in here, you can be able to go through and click foreground. And now it changes it on a monitor. And now I'm going to click over and hit program. And you can see how that program is. That program basically gives you the final output with your Unreal Engine background, as well as your um, camera footage going in. So now that we have those things set up, I wanna be able to break down of how I'm gonna do this fairly simple in here and how I will basically build up what I need to get this footage from here to um, a screen and we'll be able to see some things. Now, like I said, this is just one way. It's multiple steps and other ways to do it as well. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to media, media bundle, click on that. I'm gonna label this Black Magic Pocket Cinema and this is gonna be our fill. We have that. I'm gonna right click again, media, Bundle again. Now this is gonna be our Black Magic Pocket Cinema key. All right, and then we got our fill, our key, and now I'm gonna do one more right click, media, Black Magic Media Output. I'm gonna call this Deck Link Output. And I'm gonna put four on here. I can't even spell, let me get my stuff right. Hold up, y'all. I'm gonna call this uh, four because I have this on our DeckLink AK Pro on Outlink on four. So now we have that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here, we're gonna double click on the field. If we go into media source, we're gonna put that, put Black Magic media source, drop on here, the Black Magic. It's already auto. Uh, finding it we're going to take auto off because now depending on how you want this stuff to go uh, you have to make sure you fill in your correct accurate uh, frame rates all of that goodness so i'm running a 24 frames a second so we're going to hit apply i'm going to drop this thing down for video and instead of 8 bit i'm going to change that to 10 bit and is srg M srgb input i'm going to check that now like i said it's multiple ways to do this um, another way is like if you're using a composure route, you can go through and add in the OCOI, OCIO, um, basically colors, and it's just better output as far as the colors goes instead of letting Unreal Engine do it. But we're there. I'm going to close this one. That's for our field. And this goes to the way I have the connections. Remember that. So now if we go on our key, we know our key was set to Black Magic and it's on our SDI 2. So we're gonna bring that. We're gonna take auto off so we can open up our stuff here. We're gonna put 24 frames, we're gonna apply. We're gonna do the same thing, go on, drop down video. We're gonna change this 10 bit and it is sRGB input. We will save that. Like I said, I'm just doing these things fairly fast. Now we got our deck link output. We're gonna open that up. Remember, I have this for four, so I'm gonna go in here we're gonna change that down to four. We're gonna make sure it's on 24 frames and we're gonna hit apply. You don't have to worry about anything else there. If you want to, you can change this to 10 bit and save. Now we close this. All right, so then you're gonna have your Blackmagic 
pocket fill, your key, and your deck link output for. So what I do is I usually drag that in here. You can see it there, and then I'll just take that out of the screen so we ain't gotta worry about it. And then we have our key, we drag that in there, we see that, and we just drop that bad boy down. We want to get those things out of there. So now we don't see it, and now we can continue on to our next step. All right, yeah, so also one thing I wanted to talk about is the way you're going to map your deck link AK Pro for this is um, this setup when it goes to the connectors, you're going to have SDI one in or out. You're going to hit save there. If we go to two, it'll say SDI. Well, this is three, so SDI three in or out, save there. Then we go over to two. Each one is SDI two in or out. So that means each one can be an in or out. We go to four, SDI four, in or out. And that would be your mapping as far as this to go with the setup that I'm using. So hopefully that helps. Now, like I said, there's other methods. If you wanted to go through the OCIO, you can be able to do that. It's other videos on how to do that. If you wanted to go through and use Composure, where you'll start building um, basically the Composure, you'll start adding uh, media plates and all of that goodness. Here, I'm not showing you that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Window, Virtual Production, Media Capture. Now I have a media capture here. If um, right now, and I can see it's already, and most of the time it's gonna come in like this. We're gonna go through our media viewport capture. We're gonna go down to camera. And if you don't have a camera in here, add a camera, you know what I mean? Add a camera to your, to your scene. I know I already have one. I have this Cinema Camera Actor 1, so you can be able to add a camera to your scene. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here. I have that, we're gonna add. None, I'm gonna put cinnamon camera actor one. So we have that. Now this is our media output. We're gonna open that up. This is our deck link output four because we wanted to output to that. Now, if I hit capture, what we're going to see, I'm gonna aim it over here. Capture, it should be the background we have from Unreal Engine should come over there. There we go, we're in business. So now I have my stuff captured in here. As you see, I got a Vive Mars as well. So if I wanted to, I could put a virtual camera in there and start really tracking things. But right now it's just not uh, connected. I'm just doing this for showing. But now from that, you have all of your stuff basically in here and you can be able to go through and utilize the, you know what I mean? Your Ultimate 12 HD. So uh, I'm gonna keep that Pretty much that wraps it up. I'm going to hit stop. Um, if y'all want to see, go over the how do you do the, where you have composure, that's another one where you'll start going through create new comps and all that. That's another way to do it, which you can then add the OCIO on there and be able to put all of that stuff in there. And it's another way of doing it as well. But this is one quick way. So hopefully that helps. I'll say get out there, keep creating, and I'll talk to you later.